Hello, Rosa. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm fine. Thank you. What did you do okay. today? What? What did you do today? Um, I prepare breakfast. Later, um, I watch TV. Mm -hmm. Later, um, um, I prepare dinner. Okay, prepare dinner. Mm -hmm. I play. I play um in the phone. Ah, okay. What game do you play on the phone, Rosa? Um, Candy Crush. I play, no, um, se llama Serpiente. Okay, Snake. Snake, yes. Okay, good. Very <laughs> good, nice. Dora, how was your day? Hi, teacher. Uh, this day I watched a movie, uh, the Titanic movie. It's an old movie, but I love this movie. Um, it's very long. It's a long, yes. long movie. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's very long, but uh, I like this, this movie because I remember my juventud. <laughs> ah, my youth. Uh -huh, yes. Okay. And I prepare the lunch and dinner for my family. Okay, nice, nice, good. So it's good you had a nice day today. We are going to begin first by checking any questions in the platform, any questions for the exam, any problems. Unit one, unit two, unit three, the midterm. No. No question. No questions. No question, teacher. Okay, excellent, excellent. Today we're going to be starting off describing, okay? We're going to describe each other. We're going to describe people, okay? First, we're going to look at adjectives, okay? So what are adjectives? What do you think are adjectives? Is is a thing describe the people or animals or in other things? Correct. For example, what can be an yeah. adjective to describe a, a person or a thing? Okay. For example, my daughter is chubby. He she 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 is a black hair. Uh, the she has um brown eyes, she is funny, she is very intelligent, okay. only that. Very good, exactly, those are the ideas when we describe, okay? Today we're gonna to learn the difference between she is or he is, for example, right? She is or he is, is going to be with an adjective, okay? So for example, she is, Funny. She is funny, for example. Okay. Or we're going to have he is funny, right? Okay. Then we also have she or he has. So she has or he has. Now with this is different because this is we're going to have a noun. It's going to be an adjective plus a noun. So for example, she has black hair, okay? She is, or he is, let me try the he, he is tall, no adjective, right? It's okay the difference? So, so, or, or no? Teacher, I am confused. 
Okay, no problem. Let me help you. She is or he is is only the adjectives. She is beautiful. He is intelligent. She is a nice, only the adjective. Has is a description. She has black hair. She has brown eyes. She has light skin. This is the, the noun is has. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. It's okay, Dora? It's okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome, good. So let's first, we're going to watch a video. This is for unit four. We are in unit four. Here today begin 4.1, vocabulary for appearances. Here we have a lot of vocabulary. Hi, welcome to section nine. In this Can you hear? It's okay, the volume? It's okay. Okay. In this section, you will learn vocabulary to describe people. Look at the following pictures and repeat the adjectives of appearance after me. Hair, long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair, curly red hair, bald, a mustache and a beard, age, young, middle-aged, elderly, looks, handsome, good-looking, pretty, height, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Okay, let's look one more time. Hair. First, is the vocabulary okay? Any questions for the vocabulary? Castaño, como se dice? Okay, let's see. It says brown hair. Brown hair. Café. Correct. Cabello, café. The repeat. Cabello, café. Cabello, right here. Uh huh. Brown hair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's listen one more time. Listen and practice the pronunciation. Look at the following pictures and repeat the adjectives of appearance after me. Hair, long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair, curly red hair, bald, a mustache and a beard, age, young, middle-aged, elderly, looks, handsome, good-looking, pretty, height, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Hi, welcome to section nine. Bold. I'm okay, all the vocabulary is okay? Yes, teacher. Teacher, fair, fairly short, es como pequeñito y gordito, algo así. No, solo pequeñito. Solo pequeñito, ah, okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Ahora, lo que estaba explicando al principio de la clase, ¿cuáles de estas creen que vamos a usar is y cuáles creen que vamos a usar has? In hair, has. Okay. Has Y aquí voy a decir, he has bald. Así voy a decir. Mm. He has curly red hair. He has a mustache and a beard. Así voy a decir. She, she has long brown hair. Todos vamos a usar has, excepto bald. Porque si se fijan, solo es la palabra. No hay una una cosa. Entonces, voy a decir he is bald. She is bald. bald. Lo demás, si sí, hay una descripción de qué. Entonces, 
He has a mustache and a beard. He has curly red hair. She has straight black hair. Good. All of all has, but bald no. Bald is is. ¿Por qué? Porque la regla dice que is es para los adjetivos, solo las palabras solitas. Aquí, en age, ¿qué voy a usar? Is or has? Is. Is, correct. Is, is young, is middle-aged, is elderly. Good. For looks, is or has? Is. Is, is handsome. Is handsome, is good-looking, is pretty. Very good. And for height? Is or has? Is. Short. Is. Is. Very good. All are is. Any questions? Yeah, teacher. No. Eh, siempre que. Entonces, este teacher, se usaría is cuando hay una descripción. Y cuando oh. no haya una descripción, has. Ok. Sí. Is cuando es la descripción y has cuando hay un sustantivo, un noun. Por ejemplo, aquí hay hair. Ah, entonces estoy describiendo el hair. Entonces, she has long brown hair. She has short blonde hair. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. va. Está bien. It's okay, teacher. Ok, good. Ok. Ahorita vamos a hacer uno pequeño grupo y vamos a describir, vamos a necesitar describir o a nosotros o a un familiar. My mother is, my mother has, my father is, my father has, my brother is, my brother has. Look, la familiar, vamos a is in has to describe. Any questions? Question, teacher. No questions? All right, excellent. Then let's make the groups and practice. Sandra, ok. Roxana, Oscar, no sean, ok. There's an Oscar, any problem? Eh, ok, perfect. Luis, any questions? Luis, you okay? Eh, se me cerró la aplicación, teacher. Ah, ok. Creo que me sacó de la sala, creo. No hay problema, Luis. Ya te mato a otro grupo. Está bien, teacher. Ok.
Okay, any questions? It's okay. Is and has. Teacher, yo tengo una pregunta. ¿Cómo se dice eh, ni tan fea ni tan bonito? O sea, regular. <laughs> Normal. Ni muy muy ni tan tan. Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> is normal or average. Entonces, cuando nea es más ni menos, es promedio. O podemos decir es normal. Entonces, en inglés podemos decir es average. Es como decir lo mismo de normal. Así que, ah, describí tu prima. ¿Cómo está tu prima? Tu primo. Ah, es average. Ah, ok. Es un promedio. No es feo, ni es bonita, ni es guapo, ni es... No, sino que es normal. Entonces sería, she is a, average. O average. She, average. Is, she has. She is average. Uh -huh. Es she has o she is. No, solo is porque no estamos poniendo otra descripción, no otra cosa, sino she is okay. average. Okay, thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Teacher, una pregunta. Yes, Walter. Eh, yo entré un poquito tarde, pero eh, el is y el have se aplica solo para personas o se puede aplicar también para animales o para cosas? Solo no, para no, personas, ¿verdad? No, no, no. También para animales y para cosas. Siempre que es, se, la idea es se utiliza con la descripción. Entonces, cualquier la descripción es is. Is oh, solo okay. es el adjetivo y has lo que tiene. Uh -huh. oh, ok, 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 ok. Por yes. ejemplo, Antigua Guatemala ah. tiene edificios viejos. Antigua Guatemala has old buildings. Mm. Pero para mí es bonito Antigua Guatemala. Entonces, yo digo, Antigua Guatemala is beautiful. Mm. Ok, ok, ok. Ok. okay. All right, good question, Walter. Let's continue. Now we continue with the practicing the conversation using the adjectives. Hello to all. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation between two people describing another person. Adjectives of appearance will be practiced. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Mm, okay, let's look at this conversation. It's gorgeous. Okay, first, any questions? The vocabulary? Gorgeous. Is uh, like very beautiful. Gorgeous okay. is very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. The other vocabulary is okay. It's okay. Eh, teacher, yo tengo una pregunta. Eh, cuando dice Randy, about six feet two, mm -hmm. I, I suppose, o cómo se pronuncia eso, y qué significa? I, el I suppose. Ajá. Se pronuncia I suppose. I suppose. Correct, I suppose. Y yo creo, yo me imagino. Yo calculo is I suppose. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Now, let's listen again for the pronunciation. Let's listen to the conversation for pronunciation. In another person. Adjectives of appearance will be practiced. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes. Her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? 
She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Uh, okay. So first, okay. Vamos a practicar. ¿Quién gustaría ser Emily? Who would like to be Emily and who Randy? Hi, teacher. Okay. Randy. Luis, Randy. And yes. Emily. Okay. All right, Luis. <clears throat> Emily? Griselda, right? Ah, okay. Él dice en otro nombre. Ah, oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy? Yes, her name is Ashley, and she is short. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Whoa, that is tall. What color is her height? Yeah. She has beautiful. She has beautiful red hair. Uh, and how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Okay, very good. Only the pronunciation, hair. 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 Good. Hair. Hair. Yeah. Hair. Excellent. Very nice. Hair. Mm -hmm. Ok. Entonces, como ven, la primera vez es solo para ver con el compañero o la compañera cómo es, ¿verdad? Cómo se pronuncia, cómo se decimos la cosa, así. Ahora, nuevamente, con el compañero o la compañera, ahora lo van a tratar de hacer fluidamente, más rápido, ¿ok? Luis, Griselda, again. Esta vez, acuérdense, el objetivo es no decirlo bien, sino que decirlo fluidamente. Go ahead, Luis, and Griselda. Okay. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy? Yes, her name is Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very good. She's very tall. How tall? About, feet, about six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Okay, very good. Very good. Nice. It's faster, más rápido. Okay. Pero la pronunciación siempre sigo. La palabra es hair. 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 Okay. Good job. Okay. ¿Quedó bien cómo lo queremos hacer con el compañero o la compañera? Yes. 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 Ok. Le menciono porque vi que en el anterior algunos solo estaban practicando, pero no se estaba enfocando en las dos cosas. Primero es practicar, decirlo tranquilo, estar seguro de lo que uno va a decir. La segunda es agarrar la confianza para decirlo fluidamente. All right. So, let's practice with our partners. Or look in the WhatsApp, and you have in the WhatsApp also. Sonia, you okay? Sandra, it's okay?
He's gorgeous. Okay. Okay, let's take a look. Let's have uh, a group. Who is the volunteer? Quien quiere practicar? Me, teacher. Hey, hey, escuché dos, escuché dos. All right. Quiero que era Rosa. Luis. Right? And Luis. Okay. Rosa and Luis. Ciro. I hear you had a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name's Ashley, and she's George's. Really? What doesn't she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Whoa, that's it tight. What color is her chair? She has beautiful red hair. And how is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Okay, good. Nice job. Algunas palabras tenemos que corregir. Vamos a ver. Es hear. I hear. Okay. Yo escucho. Pron pronunciation. I hear. I hear. I hear. Good, good. I Then hear. Tenemos la I hear. Tall. 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 And then, otra vez, la palabra hair. 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 Perfecto. Serían hair. Here. Here. Hair. Hair. Exacto. Esa es la diferencia. Hair. 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 Okay. Here. Any questions? Hair. Me too. Yes, Luis. Eh, <clears throat> donde dice, what color is her hair? Son similares okay. las pronunciaciones o me equivoco? What color is her, her, yeah. y después hair. Esta va a ser her, y esta es hair. Her, 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 hair. 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 Hey, hey. It's okay? It's okay, teacher. All right, good. Now we continue. We are going to practice asking and answering questions. Okay, practice now creating questions. ¿Cómo hacemos las preguntas? Here, we're going to see many ways to describe people. Hi, in this lesson, you will learn how to describe, ask and answer questions about appearance. Let's go over the audio program. Notice the questions that you use to ask for the information needed. Describing people. General appearance. What does she look like? She's tall with red hair. She's gorgeous. Does he wear glasses? Yes, and he has a beard. Age. How old is she? She's about 32. She's in her 30s. How old is he? He's in his 20s. Height. How tall is she? She's 1 meter 88. She's 6 feet 2. How tall is he? He's quite short. Hair. How long is her hair? It's medium length. What color is his hair? It's dark brown. It's light brown. He has brown hair. When you want to know how someone is physically, we use what look like. For age-related questions, we use how old. For height, we use how tall. The rest of the question will depend on who you're talking about. Okay, so we're going to practice a little bit. Okay, so the general pinners uh, is what does, right? What does he look like? What does she look like? Or specific questions. For example, does he wear glasses? Does she wear glasses? Does he wear contacts? Does she wear contacts? Okay. Or algo específico. Por ejemplo, does he have a mustache? Does he have a beard? 
Okay, algo específico. Is this one. It's okay? The general, the general questions and specific? Okay, for the age is how old, right? How old is he? How old is she? And then we ask, we answer the age is the same. For he or for she is the same. How old? For height, is the estatura, height. How tall, okay? Nunca decimos how short. Siempre decimos how tall. How tall is she? How tall is he? Okay. In the answers, you can answer, ah, is quite short, is medium height, is very tall, in the answer. But in the question, how tall? Then for hair, how long is that? Is her hair? This is for the length and this is for the color. What color is his hair or her hair? It's okay? Okay. It's okay. Okay. Also here, we have how to make questions. Remember, for example, what does Andrea look like? What does your mother look like? How old is your mother? How old is your father? Mm. How old are your brother and sister? How old are your mother and father? How tall, okay. How tall is your brother? How tall is your sister? Okay. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a crear preguntas para hablar de las personas que, por ejemplo, hermano, hermanas, eh, mamá, papá. Entonces, yo le voy a preguntar si Jaime es mi pareja. Yo le voy a decir, Jaime, how to, uh, eh, voy a empezar con general. What does your mother look like? Jaime, what does your mother look like? My mother uh, is beautiful. <laughs> Perfecto. Así empieza. My mother is beautiful. Excelente. No, my mother has beautiful, right? My mother is beautiful. Y ahí yo quiero saber más. Entonces, yo voy a seguir las diferentes preguntas. Does she wear glasses? My... She, she won't. Does oh, she, yes, yes, yes. Does uh, she wear glasses? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Y así voy a continuar con las demás preguntas, ¿ok? Hasta que yo tengo una idea de la mamá de Jaime, el papá, el hermano, lo que sea que quieran preguntar. ¿Ok? Entonces, ¿cuántas preguntas tenemos que hacer? Vamos a ver, para que no se confundan. ¿Ok? We have general appearance. We have. A specific question, ya vamos dos, aquí, general, specific, two, age, three, height, four, hair, una de las dos pueden elegir, is five, five questions, right? Entonces, por lo menos cinco preguntas para saber de alguien. It's okay? It's okay. ¿Alguien quiere practicar antes de ir con el pareja? O el grupo, para estar seguro que lo tienen bien. Alguien que gustaría que le escuche como lo dicen para estar seguro que lo están diciendo bien. Yes, Rosa. Um, how old is she is your my mother? No, Rosa. Estaba muy bien, pero al final no es necesario. Vas a decir, how old is, repetí, Rosa, how old is, how old is, your mother. Your mother. Hasta allí. Así que nos va a salir, how old is your mother? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo nos va a salir, Rosa? How old is your mother? Correct. How old is your mother? Good. Any other questions? Anybody else? 
No. Teacher, entonces la respuesta sería my mother's. Y, hay, y, y se dice los years old. Esa no. sería la respuesta. Casi, casi, Sandra. Solo que no le vas a poner una S porque no es plural. Entonces, my mother is. My mother is. O como puedes hacer contracción. My mother's. Y year, lo que es years old. My mother's 60 years old. Ok, my mother's, ¿cómo sería 55 años? Eh, 55, I mean, ¿verdad? 55. 55. Sería, my mother's 65 years old, así. Okay. Casi, casi, solo la pronunciación no, no es 55. 65. Sí, solo que al final no es 50, es 50, T. 50. Fifth, 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 fifth. Exacto, es la parte del T. Fifty-five. Fifty-five. Okay. okay, better, Sandra. Good. Then, teacher. Yes. Listo para practicar. Yes, Santos? teacher. Santos, question? No. No, no. Okay, let's mm -hmm. practice. Let's okay. practice. Let's practice. Then, excellent. Okay. Let's go.
Okay, now let's practice, okay? Let's make sure it's correct. Erasmo, you're going to ask Nady. Nady, answer. Five questions. Okay. Go ahead, Erasmo. De acuerdo. Um, hi, Nady. Hi. Um, how, how old is your host, husband? Um, my husband is 45 years old. Yeah. Um, how how tall, tall is uh, your hus husband? Uh, my husband is dark and has black hair. Um, um, pregúnteme algo a mí. Este. Okay. Um, no, are... no, cinco preguntas para Nady. Cinco. Ah, okay. ya, de acuerdo, de acuerdo. Um, uh, she's, uh, she's, uh, um, hair, uh, uh, his, his hair, uh, uh, your husband? Uh, my husband. No. color, his color. She, his color is uh, your husband. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, Erasmo. Yeah. No, no. Look. Oh, look. Uh, ¿Cómo hacemos la pregunta? Sería. Um, uh, his. Uh, his. His. Uh, hair. Um, aquí color. Está, aquí your... está en la pantalla. Mira en la pantalla. Okay, okay. Uh, what color is his. Uh, Hair husband? No, no, no. Cuando decís his, ya sabemos que es él. Ya. Yeah. Ajá. Uh -huh. So what color is his hair? Ya. Yeah. Dale, Rasmo. Ok. Um, uh, how old is... Uh, uh, how old is... Uh, husband? No, is... no. Ya preguntaste. Ya fue, la, ya fue la primera pregunta, Erasmo. Sí, ya, de acuerdo. <ríe> it's ok, it's ok, Erasmo. Bueno, uh, bueno. Siempre estudiamos <ríe> más cuando somos el primero, ¿verdad? Uh. Ok. <ríe> Good job. Ok, Erasmo. Good try. Nady, ask Dora. Ask Dora five questions. Ok. Hello, Dora. Hi, Nady. How are you? I find... Um, Vamos a ver. Um, how tall is uh, your husband? He's a uh, one meter sixty-three. Okay. Um, uh, um, what does uh, he? look like he is tall with i with i are brown brown eye color uh, he is uh, funny he, and he is very responsible how long is is um how long is hair high? It is short. His hair. It it hair short. No no no. Para Nady. How okay. long is how his hair? His porque es él. Entonces, how long is his hair? Uh, how long is his hair? It's short. Uh, is he bald? No, no, he, no, no, he bolt. Okay, okay. Good, Nady. Good, daughter. All right. Let's try another. Okay. Let's okay. see. Uh, Meris, ask Jaime. Mary. Hi. Hello, Mary. Hi. Hi, Jaime. Do you have a question? <laughs> uh, okay. oh, oh, but, uh, I have a question. No, 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 uh, no, no, Jaime. 
que practique Meris porque le cuesta. Entonces, que ella practique. Dale, Meris. No te escapes. Okay. Ok. Tiene la mira. Ok. Va. <laughs> What color is your hair? It's dark. Uh, um, a mirror black, mirror, mirror white. Well, very black. How old is your sister? Muy bien, Mary, pero eh, tenés que pronunciar la R más fuerte. How old is your, no you, your, your, your sister. Your sister. Eh, okay. She's about 32, 32 years old, around. Oh. Because my sister, How? she lives in the United States. <laughs> oh. How tall is your sister? So, oh. oh, so yes, she's the uh, one meter. Um, um, fifty fifty six. Good, Jaime. Oh. Good, is good. That's better. Nice. Okay, let's try Griselda and Walter. Griselda, ask Walter. Hi, Walter. Hi, Griselda. Okay, uh, what what does your brothers look like? Uh, she look very good. Brother, the brother Walter is sorry. He, he looks. He looks. He looks very good. He's tall. But sorry, sorry. Uh, how tall is he? He's one meter and about seven, seventy-five. How old is he? Uh, I'm sorry, how, how old? How old? Okay. How old uh, is he? He's mm, 50 years old. Okay. What color is his hair? He, his hair is uh, black color. It's Thank you very much. His hair is black. Black. Mm -hmm. En un tip, en inglés, no se usa la palabra color. ¿Por qué? Porque cuando uno dice el color, ya se sabe que es un color. El momento que uno dice rojo, ya sabe que es un color. No tiene que decir el color rojo. Entonces, en inglés solo se dice, is red, is black, is yellow. Para describir las cosas, no vas a tener que decir el, co el color rojo, el carro, sino que el carro rojo. Ok, oh, red oh, car. Just the color. Yes, so the okay. color, no. Very good, Walter. Very good, Griselda. Excellent. Okay. Thanks. Good. Let's see. Katia, ask Rosa. Katia, ask Rosa. Okay. Hi, Katia. Hi. Oh. Okay. How old um, is your brother? No. Katia is going to ask you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You are going to answer, Rosa. Okay. Es que ya te vi que te preguntas, por eso. Ahora vamos a ver las respuestas. Ok. What does your mother look like? Mm. Vuelvo a repetir. What does your mother look like? Um, my mother... Um, my mother, um, my mother with, um, black hair. My mother has 
black hair. Cat, that chair. Hair. Hair. Okay. Um, does she, no, pardon. How old is your mother? Um, my mother, um, my mother is, um, 15. No okay. creo, Rosa. Mm. Dijiste 15. Mm, 50, ¿cómo se dice? Ah, ok. 50. 50. Ok. My mother is 15. No. Es que si decís, si decís la N, está diciendo 15. Entonces, okay. no, es, no es 15, sino que es 50. Solo decir la letra T. T. 50. Um, my mother is 50. Correct. Okay. Um, how tall is she? Um, um, my mother um, my mother, Juan Mero, um, 58. Good, Rosa. Remember, my mother is, my mother my is, mother is one meter, 58. One meter, 58. Okay, good. Thank you, Katia. Thank you, Rosa. Very good. Okay. Uh, all right, let's see. Silvia, ask Sonia. Silvia, ask Sonia. Okay. Um, what does your mother look like? Me escuchan. Sí, Silvia. Um, what does your mother look like? I think Sonia went to sleep. Se quedó dormida la Sonia en frente de la pantalla. Okay. So, it's okay. Silvia, ahí está. What Silvia, uh, si puede repetirme, por favor. Okay. What does your mother look like? Uh, she's tall. How old is your mother? Uh, she is 73. And what color is her age? Hair. Silvia? Hair. What, co mm -hmm. what color is her hair? No. Tiene que decir la hacha fuerte. Hair. Hair. Uh, she has black hairs. Hair. Hairs. Helps. Okay, good. Very good, Silvia and Sonia. Excellent. Okay, good. Así pueden ver que es necesario para agarrar la fluidez es hacer las preguntas, no tener miedo a contestarlas. Importante porque nunca, nunca sabe en qué orden le van a hacer a alguien o qué le van a preguntar. Okay. So, we are going to pause. ¿Qué significa? Que este fin de semana todos deben de estar completados Unidad 1, 2, 3 y el examen de midterm si todavía le hace falta. Unidad 1, 2, 3 y el examen de midterm. Porque ya empezamos la unidad 4. Como pueden ver, necesitamos la otra semana para estar usando ese tiempo para practicar más nuestro hablado. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. All right. Great. 
Have a nice weekend. I practice in the platform. I see you on Monday. I see you Monday. Thank you for coming. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye.